Ripple affects the U.S. government. XRP to $70,000. This week, U.S. senators from both sides introduced a bill on cryptocurrency. Republican Cynthia Lummis and Democrat Kirsten Gillibrand on Tuesday introduced a bipartisan bill, the Responsible Financial Innovation Act. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP. Watch the video to the end to like and subscribe. The proposed law would make a clear distinction between digital assets, which are commodities or securities, the summary of the legislation says. And if adopted, the law will give companies dealing with digital assets the opportunity to determine what their regulatory obligations will be. The CFTC will control the spot markets of cryptocurrencies treated as commodities, and the SEC will regulate digital assets, which, like companies, give owners the right to profit, liquidation benefits or other financial interests in a commercial enterprise. The SEC will also have the right to check commodity cryptocurrencies twice a year that are not fully decentralized. In its present form, the proposed law will establish a regulatory framework that encourages innovation, develops clear standards, defines appropriate boundaries of jurisdiction and protects consumers. But the bill has a long way to go before the conceived law can become a reality. Lawyer Jeremy Hogan believes that this bill in its present form is bullish for cryptocurrency. It covers everything from the taxation of crypto assets, brokers, stablecoins, and, finally, which regulatory body regulates digital assets, and this is a very comprehensive approach. The bill makes decentralization a key term, but even if a digital asset still benefits from the efforts of a centralized entity, like the Ethereum Foundation, for example, the reporting requirements are not so terrible and only relatively minimal disclosures are needed twice a year. This is not ideal but many crypto projects can at least comply with it. The most interesting question for XRP holders is whether it will put an end to the lawsuit. As Hogan notes, no, because even if it is passed this year, most laws do not apply retroactively. But this may affect an important element of the case, since from the date of adoption of the law, it will regulate new sales of XRP owned by Ripple to the market. And Ripple will definitely register whether with the SEC or with the CFTC, and this will make XRP sales to the market legal, even if they lose the lawsuit. Previously, John Deaton, who was acting on behalf of 67,300 XRP holders in this lawsuit, and to whom the court granted the status of amicus curiae, lat. A friend of the court filed a petition with the judge asking him to allow him to provide a brief note to the court. We are talking about filing a brief to the report of SEC expert Patrick Duty, who tried to prove that XRP investors were forced to buy tokens in 2013 in the hope of making a huge profit. This expert opinion was criticized by Deaton and other investors, stating that Duty probably did not talk to any XRP investor before coming to his conclusions. The court has already allowed the SEC to file an objection to Deaton's lawyer's request, but now the SEC has asked the court to keep the contents of its objection confidential. The Plaintiff's Securities and Exchange Commission respectfully requests the court to order the sealing of the SEC letter against the petition of six XRP investors to submit a summary of the opinion of one of the SEC experts, Duty, an excerpt from a recent petition. The SEC believes that further additional public documents related to Duty's testimony may lead to some disturbing events. Given the serious concerns indicated in the objection note, and since the movements are not parties to this litigation, the SEC will respectfully await the court's decision on this closure motion before providing the movements with a copy of its objection note, the SEC said. The Securities and Exchange Commission is also seeking a court order to six XRP investors and lawyer Deaton to refrain from disclosing to the public the contents of their opposition memo to prevent the aggravation of disturbing events in this matter. John Deaton commented on this move in the way that the SEC did because, perhaps, someone could threaten the expert. I really hope that no XRP holder contacted Mr. Duty or threatened him in any way. I am thinking about the basis, 
but now I will tell you that no one should contact witnesses or lawyers at all, for whatever reason. I'm not saying it happened, but the SEC filed a motion to close for a reason. While everyone is waiting for the SEC to be forced to hand over Hinman's document, Deaton's lawyer said the agency would rather choose a settlement than make the document public. There has already been a lot of controversy around the documents of the former director of the Financial Corporation of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission William Hinman from 2018, as a result of which it was announced that Ethereum ETH, is not a security. Ripple is convinced that this speech will put an end to the argument that its digital currency XRP is a security. However, all attempts to obtain the Hinman document have not yielded positive results, since the SEC does not plan to transfer the files to Ripple. Lawyer John Deaton, who is seeking to represent 67,000 XRP investors in the upcoming expert dispute, expressed his opinion on the expected outcome of the fight for possession of documents for Hinman's speech. Following a conference between the parties this week, Deaton's lawyer noted that it is obvious that Judge Sarah Netburn will order the SEC to hand over Hinman's document to Ripple. Interestingly, the SEC's determination to continue withholding the document may give the holders of Ripple and XRP the breakthrough they need, which will put an end to a lawsuit that has lasted more than a year, lawyer Deaton added. Speaking live, Deaton's lawyer said that if the SEC is forced to submit the document by Judge Sarah Netburn, the agency will immediately demand a settlement rather than give Hinman's document to Ripple. These emails, these comments will never see the light of day outside the SEC office. If the SEC is forced to hand over these documents, then a settlement may occur. Does the hashtag SEC settle if they lose the next ruling? At John E. Deaton 1 gives it to you straight. However, if things do not go as the Ripple community expects, and Judge Netburn does not order the SEC to submit a document, the lawsuit will be sent directly to the summary procedure. The coin can be purchased in Australian dollars, sent to the blockchain without any international transfer costs, and then stored as a cryptocurrency in a wallet or paid in Australian dollars. Novartis plans to profit from stablecoin conversion fees, as well as transaction and trading fees, as soon as the company integrates them into its network. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 12944360655 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4.8% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.